Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. I'm super excited to show you around. I am with Frankie of In The Box Collectibles and we're at his warehouse and toy shop. Now, the thing about Frankie here that I'm learning just by touring this warehouse and shop is that he's into everything and everything that they do here at his business is essentially anything that you could ever think of. Another thing that sticks out to me so much about everything Frankie is like your incredible vision to just like art. Yes, yes. There's art everywhere. Yes, yes. We like to uh, keep our creativity alive. So we put up pieces from everything you can imagine, from Pokemon to cause anything that brings joy to us we, we put up and we brings us happiness <laughs> okay. pretty much and keeps keeps everybody creative so i didn't really like my my introduction here because i still think i'm trying to wrap my mind around it is what exactly are you in the business of doing we're in the business of bringing your ideas to life that's what we're, we're in and that goes from a simple business card all the way to a 3d figure or an art piece that you have we're, we're collectors first of all like we collect any and everything and we appreciate the arts. Being a card collector, yeah. a lot of this just screams so cool to me. Yeah, you know, yeah. I want to be here. I want to see every little thing that you have. So tell us more about you as an entrepreneur. How did this all start? Uh, well, so this started with my dad 25 years ago now. He started the business and I just followed suit. Uh, he taught me everything. Uh, he's a big mentor of mine. Everything from the business side to just having fun in general in life and in, enjoying art and creativity. And then I started collecting Pogs back in the day. And they went from Pogs to Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! And then all the way to just designer toys and art pieces and collectibles. That's how it all happened. And went down the rabbit hole. Would you say you've collected your whole life? But, yeah, pretty much. From, since Yeah, since nine, I would say. Pretty much. When I got adult money, I can, you know, spend adult money. Yeah. <laughs> what he just said, what he collects, is mind-blowing. You're not going to expect what we're going to show you right now. He showed me something that he collects uh, before we started all of this, and <laughs> I can't even believe the <laughs> craziness that's that we're going to show you today. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. That's another hobby of mine. <laughs> I want to talk about the extremely cool stuff, the cards. <laughs> so what kind of cards do you collect? Oh, I collect... Everything, everything from Marvel, Star Wars, to Magic the Gathering, to even uh, artist cards. Just any any kind of card, any kind of collectible I collect, to be honest. If I like the art of it, um, all the way to some baseball cards, okay. uh, football, basketball, anything that has some cool art and that I can I can get into, I'll collect. <laughs> can you go through these a little bit? Yeah, um, so I, I was just very fortunate to be able to get these three drops. Mac Miller is one of my favorite artists, and I was like, I gotta have, I gotta have one of those. And then Pokemon, I, I've always been in Pokemon since I was uh, younger, so that was a must-have for me. It's super creative. That one's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, it's a Playboy Pikachu. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, any, any kind of <clears throat> cards that have art on them I enjoy. Especially like the one-to-one -one we hit the other day on your stream. With the, yes, the, um, we hit an uh, artist Marvel. sketch card X23 out of Wolverine Flare Ultra the other day, and that's that's when we went to the card shop to yes, yes, that's to when celebrate. We took that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. But yeah, from that all the way to making toys and designer toys, it's one of my little figures I created. I was uh, gonna say, so this whole time we've been talking about appreciating art. I say I'm an appreciator of art. I'm not very good at creating it, but look at Frankie right here. This is a toy that he created himself. Yeah. He designed it, you printed it, and now you're painting it, right? Yeah, correct, correct. That's the Is this your was. first design? Yeah, yeah, that was my first one. I actually worked with an artist because I can't draw for the life of me, which mm -hmm. I wish I could. I told him my idea and, and I wanted something to, like a figure to represent the, the company. And I just kind of took pieces of myself and put it in the, the collectible and made him a box head because it's in the box collectibles. And then I'm always getting hurt, so I put a couple band-aids on him and scratches. <laughs> That's how he came about. And I created him, made the STL file, and we printed him and went down to painting. And that's what we're working on now. <laughs> Very cool. So what's your favorite thing about what you do? Just seeing something come to life. Seeing it from a blank piece of paper all the way to, to fruition, it's just, it's just amazing. Um, and it could be anything, any kind of design. It doesn't have to be a toy exactly, but even from business to 
to a toy. It's just amazing to see that happen. I think mm -hmm. that's my favorite part of doing all this and being an entrepreneur is, is, is seeing all that come to life. What do you think makes a piece or a person creative? Just being able to, to jot down an idea and, and then following it through and bringing it to life, I think, would, 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 be, the, would be the answer to that question. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about what you do? Creating. <laughs> Looking at a blank piece of paper and, and bringing something to life. Uh, taking people's ideas and just saying, is, is this what you meant? And then them saying, oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, that's, that's super hard. Okay, everybody, this is where the fun begins. And I talk too much. I've actually been talking so much these past three days. I was thinking, damn, I talk too much. So I'm going to let Frankie do all the talking, and I'm actually going to push him to talk more because he wants to practice for this. So first of all, this is... Uh, you I'm already talking too much. Where are we, Frankie? <laughs> all right, so you're in my office, in the, just in the creative space. Um, and in this space, we have uh, this beautiful barber chair that I get my haircuts in every once a week, I would say. <laughs> Back here, Steph, Steph liked this section oh of the collectibles. Gosh. Look at this. <laughs> um, this is another hobby of mine that I collect. They're ball pythons. They're friendly. Are they real? Yes, they're, 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 <laughs> very, they're very real. <laughs> this one has a, has a little face on it, a little pumpkin face. Can I hold them? Yeah, they're, they're very calm. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've held a snake since like, you know when they used to have those pythons at the oh, fair? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did that a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. What is she called? These, these, are, these are mating right now, so I don't want to bug them too much. This oh was my, my very first snake. This is a banana. Pied when, python. Uh, so this is this, like, are they she's or he's? Or? That one's a he. Okay. Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> Did you want to hold him, Eddie? No. <laughs> <laughs> you said she's pregnant, right? This one up here that I'm going to show you right now. Get a little water. She's pregnant. So she should be laying eggs soon. Walk us through your, um, your toy space. You can do 3D printing on this. This is from 3D printing to lasering. My brother painted this, but this was one of the pieces that came out. As you can tell, my brother's an artist. <laughs> um, but you can print stuff like that. Impressionist. Um, this side is the resin machine. This is where pretty much we printed all my collectibles that I have, or that I showed you earlier. So it goes from the resin to the alcohol cleaning and then to the UV curing. Then you get a collectible like this piece right here. And you take this and then you take it to paint and then it's ready to go. <laughs> it smells really good in here, by the way. <laughs> so this is what his office is called. <laughs> <laughs> Back here is our, our digital printing. So anything from flyers, postcards, business cards, folders, anything digital we can run through this machine. And then we have our binder in the back where you cut, hole punch, all the, where all the magic happens. This side right here, embroidery room, where we do all the embroidery. All right, so this side is our toy gallery slash creative uh, space, another creative space. We make pieces like this art piece, this room. It feels like a museum in here, Frankie. So, <laughs> that's how we try to make it. So like this whole piece, we made this personal stand for it, uh, where we printed it on MDF, and then we made him a little home. Back here, we also make candles. It's our little candle business. So if you guys want a candle scent, we have all the fragrance. Okay, cool. This is like three of the candles you know we what, just made. You know what would be crazy if we could make, actually? Like a top series two scent. Oh it yeah. Just feels like, just like smells like, like cardboard, cardboard a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely do that. That would be yeah. really good. <laughs> I would buy that like that, crazy. That would, that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our CNC machines where we can make pretty much anything out of wood any kind of cabinets, any kind of art pieces. Like we made this piece for a bar in Vegas. Um, they were doing like tiki's. So we made, we cut it, stained it. Um, and this came out to be like six foot tall. We made like 10 of these. Then we have our Hulk golf cart that we can drive around later. <laughs> That's cool. We're definitely gonna do that later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Over here we have another CNC machine um, that cuts pretty much any material from PVC to foam board. Uh, to MDF, you can do all the magic on here. So one thing, Frankie, that I've noticed is that 
usually when I go to printing places, it smell. There's like a really weird strong Odor. smell. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it hasn't smelled here at all. If anything, it smells good. Yeah, we try to keep it as clean as possible. We're constantly cleaning, but that smell you're smelling is because you're probably going into press shops where they're running uh, offset presses. And these are more digital presses. Okay. But when we run the laser machine, from time to time, it, it's it smells. This is our EFI machine that prints pretty much anything two inches thick and any rigid material you can print on this. They're printing punching bags right now. Um, is there any machine that you just like like to use the most? I would say this one right here. This one and the CNC because you can bring pretty much anything to life. Like uh, what? Like any kind of ideas. So I'll show you this SpongeBob we printed. Okay, okay. So this is on acrylic and it was, we were gonna put it for the restroom. So it's back printed, but you can print stuff like this, that wall of the, like, the Fairyland. Last night, we were opening some new Thor Love and Thunder Upper Deck product, and they actually had a card that was acrylic. Oh, did yeah, yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, I did, yeah, I did, I yeah. did. So it looks exactly like that, so they're using machines like this to print them, yes, right? And they, they are, just 100... cut up a bunch of little ones? 100%. I think Upper Deck does a really great job of innovating and making new kind of stuff like that. Yeah, they do. They definitely so do. You, you get like metal cards, those acrylic cards. Yeah just even like different shines and different glosses. Like you probably yep. know how to do it all, right? Yes, 100%. From do you UV think, printing to yeah. raised ink, all that stuff. Do you think you have more an appreciation for like cards because 100%, of it? I do, 100%. Every time I look at a, a unique card, I'm like, oh man, this is so cool to make this. It's not easy at all. And then to come up with ideas, another challenge, right? I was actually really fortunate to actually visit the Topps factory and getting to see how they printed everything and oh, that's awesome. seeing how a lot of it is by hand yeah. too. You can imagine, right? Oh yeah, hundred yeah, percent. So like this, actually this acrylic right here that we cut out. So this is a piece. So like you can literally turn this into, if it was like um, Disney, Little Mermaid, you can make a card out of this. And you could just cut pretty much anything. And it's back printed so that the surface doesn't scratch. So when you look at a card, do you imagine how? How it was made. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Cool. 100%. I so smell what, it sometimes too, just like, oh, oh the ink's still there. <laughs> on the state. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. see, I'm going to use that too. You could smell the ink? <laughs> yeah, so on some cards. On some cards you can. Okay, yeah. what's uh, a card that like blew you away or like even a parallel or something that you're just like, oh, these are so you know, so good uh, and so hard to make? It was a it was a Kobe card mm -hmm. that they made. It was an old card. I forgot what, it was like a galaxy kind of looking card. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name of it off the top of my hand, but it was just so cool. It was a die cut. So just knowing how it was die cut and then the the layers they had to put on it to make it look like that was amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. The process is amazing. So there's like layer cards now too that they make. Yeah, and yeah. like you said, it has to be by hand because yeah. there's no other way, right? Machi yeah. Yeah. I don't believe there's a machine out there that can layer like how they're layering the cards. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> See? Oh my gosh. We're tying it to cards. <laughs> All right here is the gallery where it would start. So you'll So really quick, gallery, give us a few, like a, a few bits about it. So. Why did you decide to start a gallery? The gallery came about because we had all our collectibles in brown boxes, which we got mm -hmm. tired of seeing. And we had this empty space that you're about to see. And uh, I met with my dad and I was like, hey, why don't, we're both collectors. So I was like, why don't we do a gallery to just show, showcase our collectibles and enjoy them ourselves. It wasn't essentially to invite people in to see it. It was just more for us to like, oh, I remember that piece. Okay. And then it just, it just started snowballing into to people wanting to come down and check it out and people wanting to buy and then us reaching out to manufacturers and distributors and just getting uh, the business going and that's how it all kind of came into place. We sat down, designed it real quick and now it's, it's starting to, to grow and become What was the shop. most <laughs> difficult part of uh, like starting it? Going through all the boxes and opening them and displaying <laughs> them. <laughs> okay, okay. Because um, each one like we were, as we were opening, we were like, oh man, remember where we bought this? Because there's this history to each toy and each memory, each toy had a memory or each collectible had a memory. The idea of seeing like the, the display in, in place was, that was easy, but this. That's really cool. Yeah. So this, this is the start of the gallery, yes. Some of our toys displayed, we still have another warehouse where it's just full of stuff that we got to bring out every piece you see, every stand you see here we made um, with the mm -hmm. machines behind us. So from, from this piece to the acrylic we, we made, uh, specifically for the superhero duel, duels over here, the power duels. And then we made this wall display that are just kind of hanging. We made that cost piece, it's not a, a, a real cost piece, we made it. Um, it's a 3D piece, it's made out of aluminum board and acrylic. And then from all these pieces here, all different artists are in here. <laughs> from super plastics to the gorillas, to SpongeBob, to Cause. Cause is a big name in the designer world. As the you can board see, apes. Board, the board apes came out with their, their collectible. In here is another room 
Yeah, and here we have just, again, an array of artists' pieces from cause to super plastics to bare bricks is big in the designer world. They're kind of known to be the designer toy, uh, but there's all these artists are um, designers. Every piece in here is amazing to me. <laughs> all the way from blind boxes, these little toys, you know, some collectors can't spa have space for this, the bigger toys. So mm -hmm. they came out with little, little designer figures and they're usually randomized, but they'll come out like with this. And this is from Pop Mart. So it's like boxes of cards. Yeah, it's like boxes of cards. Yeah, you just don't know what you're gonna get. Yeah, exactly. What's your favorite piece in here? I, I would say it would be the Bat Boy, this piece right here. Okay. Brett Crawford is his name. That's the artist. It's an amazing piece. It's a heavy piece, super heavy. Um, other than that, this, this Snoopy, I'm a big fan of Snoopy. I so, love Snoopy too. So Snoopy's an awesome mah, piece, mah, yeah. Mah, 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 mah. <laughs> I watched that a ton. <laughs> the Liberty Dead is awesome too. It's a great piece. I have to admit, Frankie, it makes me want to buy some toys. <laughs> oh yeah, anytime. The display. Anytime. Anytime. What are they called? Sculptures. They're sculptures? Yeah. Sculptures, yeah. collectibles. Yeah. You don't call them toys? Yeah. Tell, tell I, her how much that... Designer toys. Designer art toys. Designer toys. <laughs> What's no, wrong with bro. that? I said toys earlier and I had to retract. <laughs> sculptures. Okay, I got it. But definitely it's beautiful. It's a beautiful display. I mean... Oh, thank you. I love... I love art. It's, this is art. A hundred percent, yes. This guy, uh, Jay, this artist Jay Ledbetter came down to the office. His pieces, obviously he works with Disney now. But um, these pieces cool. are amazing. These were like blind boxes as well. You can get oh, man. rare pieces and as well. And they come like just... Like that, just as like, you just pop them out and they come like that. Yeah, I mean the His pieces are the ones is... that, are, that are up there hanging, the rabbit and the big monster. That's it. Those are his pieces. Because like you said, people don't really know how to display them. Mm -hmm. So when it comes with the display already... They're ready to go. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. Or like galaxy packs, you know how I make the box? Yeah. Make the box somewhere where you could put the card on there yep. and just have it on your desk. Yeah, 100%. You could make something exactly like that. Exactly like that. That's cool. Cool. Yeah. And then over here, some more collectibles from Pop Mart. Uh, this is really big on Pop Mart right here. Just a These... bunch of sealed toys. Look at that buzz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Astro Boy, more gorillas. This Venom is pretty sick right here. Venom piece from cereal. They made collectible cereal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we saw some collectible cereal at uh, David Adams too. They had some, uh, they get the players to do them for free for oh, charity. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Yeah. So they have like Julio's. <laughs> oh, really? And Pujo's yeah. Crunch. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. And then the art piece that's behind you. This is incredible. Wow, thank you, thank you. Frankie, thank you for showing us here. Of course, of course. These are Star Wars pieces with a Bathing Ape Company made. So they have baby Milo inside. Basically. That's so cool, Frankie. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with the black to match with my black Tesla that Tesla. I have. There you go. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Thank you, Frankie. These yeah, are awesome. Well, look at this. How the tables have turned. Hey, this thing, this is crazy. A Bathing Ape Stormtrooper Star Wars. I've never owned one of these, but I love Funko Pops. I definitely have to make some space for this bad boy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How many Star Wars stuff do you have in your room, Eddie? I have a Stormtrooper Pop. There you, well, there go. you go. That one's the best. They're actually my favorite. That's why I'm glad Steph chose the black one. Like, the white <laughs> one, I love it. Okay, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our tour of Frankie's shop. You know where to find them. In the Box Collectibles on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Now it's time for us to go look for some more toys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Ha ha ha.